Seiko has reimagined the crown chronograph. Although they imagined it wrong because they forgot the chronograph. But is it any good? That's what we're gonna find out today, so let's begin. <laughs> Introducing the all-new Seiko Presage SRPG07 and instantly you can see the DNA from the crown chronograph of 1964. We have that vintage style case, ultra thin with straight angular lugs, faceted right there on the top of the lug, beautiful brushing on top of the lug as well, faceted tips, excellent design. I'm a huge fan of this style. As you can see, I purchased the limited edition version that came out last year and this watch shares the same style, but this one is an unlimited model so you can buy it whenever you can. From the link down in the description, Kavar Jewelers. We have all the new Seikos, including the beautiful new Tortoise. Look at that. Any Seiko you need. If you have any questions about the buying process, email me down in the description. Now the measurements. I got 40.8 in diameter, 12.4 in thickness, including that beautiful boxed, not sapphire, <laughs> hardlex crystal, unfortunately. And we do have a lug to lug of 47.1. Excellent sizing. This one I feel wears a little bit smaller than the limited edition model last year because the bezel is flush with the case. On the limited model, it sticks out just a hair and it does create a slightly bigger look, especially with the flat sapphire. And I do love the boxed crystal because of the distortion it gives and it's just phenomenal. I do wish mine had a boxed sapphire, but then it would lose its slim, sleek look, which was a big draw for me. But this watch has that as well with a little bit of a dynamic look because of that box. Now the bracelet, this one, female end links, 20 mil, solid end links, solid links. I believe it's pins and collars or push pins. I forget signed clasp Seiko fully milled. We got a bevel right here for comfort. Excellent. And this one, I, it was the same bracelet that was on this watch. I changed it. Again, check out that video if you want to know the whole story because it has too big of a gap and that was bugging me, but it's still an okay bracelet. It's decent and it fits good. Now you can see that case back does have hard legs and you can see the gold tone rotor of the forearm movement. So a little bit fancy with that gold tone. This watch will definitely get people into watches because it looks great. It's all about style and it does have a nice reliable movement in it. Now the bezel and bezel insert. The bezel is stationary. I can't turn it. So it's kind of useless, but you can use it as a minute counter. 60 minutes, you know, right there, 20 minutes, but <laughs> I wish it did turn. I know people are going to complain about that, but it is what it is. It's aluminum and it's dark green or army green, but look at that. You get hints of brown when it hits some sort of lighting and sometimes you get a light green, it's gorgeous and only aluminum inserts can have this dynamic color change. And that's why I'm a big fan of them. And this one is dynamic. Sometimes it looks black. Sometimes it looks dark green. Sometimes it looks brown. Sometimes it looks lime and the dial is inky green and 99% of the time it looks black. This one, you need the sun, you need pure sunlight to check out that green dial. Now the indices are beautifully applied and faceted. You can see it catching the light, playing with the light. That is a nice effect. Dolphin style hands with loom, high polished everywhere, high polished seconds hand. See it kind of disappears the second hand until it hits the light there. You see it at, it's nearing the 10. Okay. The two hour marker right there. 
And we do have a printed Seiko logo and printed Presage. 50 meters of water resistance, sign crown, push pull crown. And 50 meters is decent. You can swim with it, but I wouldn't do much more than that. Now the price, this one, 525 USD, and you can get an open heart version for 575, so $50 more for the open heart. Here it is next to an SKX, pretty close in size. The lug to lug is actually longer, diameter is smaller, but you can just see how it wears right there. It is thinner, 12.4, even with that beautiful boxed hard legs. All right, and there you can see the lug to lug, what I was talking about, it is longer. Nice drilled lugs on this one, easy strap changes. Okay, here it is on my six and a half inch wrist. Phenomenal, love that dial and how it reflects the light on those indices. Love that thin profile on the wrist. Awesome, and I love that boxed hard legs. Of course, I wish it was sapphire. The downturn on the lugs, excellent. This thing wears great. It's gonna be a strap monster for sure. And wow, yep, excellent. This thing is pretty. Let's do the weight. No links removed, 136 grams. Awesome, lightweight. That's an excellent weight for all day wear. Okay, here it is on the time grapher. We already did eight rounds dial up and it came in at plus 13. And now we are doing eight rounds, 12 down. This has the 4R35 hack hand wind automatic, 41 hours of power reserve, 23 joules, three hertz. And yes, it is a proven reliable workhorse movement. These numbers much better 12 down. And seventh round four, so we got five, five, four. Beat air a little bit high at 0.4. Amplitude decent at 252. And the eighth and final round plus four. Okay, so plus 13 and plus four. We got, we're gonna average about plus nine or plus 10 on the wrist. Okay, there is the loom shot. We got powerful loom on those hands and the loom plots on the inside of the indices. Tiny plots, powerful as well, even though they are very tiny. And it is the same on my watch, exact same on the limited version. So no surprises, strong loom. Here it is in low light and yes, legibility is a little bit difficult. I'm not gonna lie. I own the basically the same watch. And if you love to stare at your watch and not know the time for at least a couple seconds, this is the one and it has a gorgeous dial with beautiful indices. So. It is for the enthusiasts. We love looking at our watches. Sometimes my wife asks me, what time is it? And I'm staring at my watch and I actually don't know the time because I'm not looking for it. <laughs> I'm just looking at the gorgeous watch. Now, please guys support the channel by watching this video over here or this video over here. Check out the merch store, check out the Wolf watch boxes, link to their website direct. And if you shop on Amazon, we also have a link that takes you there. You can buy anything that you normally buy on Amazon. Please remember to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.